I am not a Republican. I am not a Democrat. I am an American, and I want my country back. Hello, my name is John Tater, and I am running for the 11th Congressional District to represent you in Washington. Please see my website, johnjtater.com, for more information about me. Haven't you ever had enough of the lies and deceptions created by our public functionaries? Deceptions causing the destruction of our country and the participation by which our founding fathers risked everything to create. The constant encroachment of government abuse on our lives, the rhetoric of terrorism to perpetuate fear and war, and the chaos created by these public functionaries. This must come to an end. Historically, has there ever made a difference whether you voted for a Democrat or a Republican? Nothing has ever changed. The Democrats and Republicans are not about solving the world's problems. They are the world's problems. To date, the war on terror is alive and well. Ask Democratic candidate Bobby McKenzie why we should consider sending him to Washington after being on the staff of the State Department for 15 years fighting counterterrorism. What gains were achieved after his 15 years of service? Why should we send him again to Washington for another two more years to do something he could not do in 15 years? The American economy is in pathetic shape because of the banksters. The banksters mortgage industry is still foreclosing on the American citizens. Ask the foreclosure mill expert CEO David Trott, the Republican, how he can, in good conscience, ask the 11th district voters to send him to Washington so he could drive the final stakes in the hearts of homeowners in America, pass more laws as a lawmaker to finally foreclose on the rest of America. We get the government we vote for. Here we have two of the most self-serving candidates that are running for office to serve their own personal needs. And now you know their past history of Trott and McKenzie, so why would you vote for them? In America, we have republic form of government. That is, protected by Article 4, Section 4 of the United States Constitution. I wonder if either candidate knows what a republican form of government is. When the public functionaries step outside their delegated authority, he is a usurper. He no longer has the protection of his office and can be sued individually. So why are these public functionaries still in office? I am de jure, that is constitutional. I, if elected, I would be de jure. I would swear an oath of office de jure. I would stand on all principles de jure. If we look at the United States Supreme Court decision called Norton versus Shelby County, 118 U.S. 425, it's an 1886 case. It says that the unconstitutional act, not a de jure, is not a law. It confers no rights. It imposes no duties. It affords no protection. It creates no office. It is in legal contemplation as inoperative as though it had never been passed. The entire government in Washington has no idea what de jure means. For if they did, Obama would have been impeached years ago. He has been a usurper ever since he began his reign of executive orders. Only Congress can make law. The president has no de jure delegated authority to make law. He is a usurper. Our Congress holds hearings and press conferences to make it appear that they are in control and doing something about the usurpation of the president. But in reality, they are all in on it. Usurpers have no protection once they step outside their de jure delegated scope of employment. So why has there been no in movement on the impeachment? When the American citizens went to Congress to ask them about chemtrails, Every congressman claimed ignorance. They had no idea what chemtrails were. Again, the citizens went to Congress asking them for labeling of GMO foods. Congress instead supported Monsanto. What about the bailouts of the too big to bail, fail bankers? Did that help the American people? I could go on about the usurpation of the American politician, but what's the point? By now, each and every citizen should know about the usurpation of the public functionaries. I am de jure. I will fight to bring this government back to de jure status and expose all usurpers. It is up to you, the voter, to make a difference. Will you vote for change, a de jure candidate that knows the Constitution, or one of the other Democrat or Republican candidates who, by their past actions, have demonstrated their usurpation of the law? Please see my website, johnjtater.com and Norton versus Shelby County to understand de jure, de facto, usurpation, delegation, and ratification. I am de jure. Are they?